right. Ooh, I'm a war hero, damn it. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna burn that north. I do not want to be a colonialist. Get me out of here. Or <laughs> my eyebrows to ugly. Power Ranger villain vibes right here. Yo, YouTube, we're back with more Mass Effect. We back. We back. Um, with Luna. With Luna. I'm Ian. I'm Ronnie. Yep. And before we start, I have a question for you, Ronnie. Yes. Is there like a way to later customize your characters later in the game, or um, can you only do it at the menu? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering because I don't think it will let me customize what my NPCs look like. Yeah. But I was like, I really want to take every character in the game, make their ass thick as fuck, <laughs> and call it ass effect. Uh, I don't think that there's a way to make your ass thicker. So, but and there there might be a way because you know how they have the black emporium where you could change your face yeah, in yeah. Dragon Age, but that you didn't get that until Dragon Age two. So this might be yeah similar. yeah. All right, so we are. Back on the ship, we have decided to uh, convince the council of not Nihilus, Sa Sa Saren, Saren. I think Saren is right. Saren's actually. evilness. Yeah. And now we got to go meet with them. Okay. Yeah. And I can talk to them. Yeah. Now this is the part where you talk to everybody. On I'm the glad ship. you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news oh. after what happened to Jenkins. Really quick, let me uh, turn up the game audio just to make sure. Here. Hey. Bam. Alright. Soldiers that no, he'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable. He was a little bloodthirsty, but Part of me he was guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Um now you say soldiers say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you You're should be a good here. Soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've but, never met anyone who was a Can you do something about your eyes? <laughs> they are very big. Um, uh, Gabrielle, who's been watching and, uh -huh. and chat sometimes, was like, yeah, there's something very Uncanny Valley about this, and apparently people were complaining about the animation in Andromeda. Oh. And then they were like, Gabrielle was like, yeah, but like, look at the animation in the other yeah, ones. Yeah, right? Look at number one. Um, let's check on you first. Things were Enough about me. Are you okay? I'm a war hero, so I've seen I'm friends good. die before. It comes with being a marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. I'm just basically being like, you did good. Thanks. Yeah, I like how the options are like, you I did good, or you're a complete a failure. There's no in between. <laughs> yeah. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Okay. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> Thank I'm you. your new father figure. Paragon <laughs> plus two. All right, now you do kind of look like you could be her father. <laughs> the way that you made your character. Oh. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? I don't know. Is there? Um, personal questions. Serving on an alliance ship. I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. To secure. I could see I that. Like, once team. you could go to space right. safely, for the I most part, unless you got murdered star. by something, Ten yeah. Why would you hang out on Earth, right? And sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs... So what, what constitutes the Traverse? Is it like our solar system? That's a good question. Yeah? Um... But also, like, the way I'm thinking about it now, right, is, like, you know, so, like, we live in the city because uh -huh. it's, like, exciting. Yeah. And then when we run to, we go out and we get a cabin in the countryside for, like, a weekend or something, uh -huh. right? I feel like Earth would be, like, the countryside now. Mm. And space would be, like, living in the city, right? City, Even though space life. is bigger and less populated. Yeah. <laughs> Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was a The way you phrase that makes me a little uncomfortable. Something like, special. not- well, no, working on soldiers. Uh. Like, it's not like helping soldiers or healing soldiers, working on yeah. soldiers. Is it the same personal question? Uh, I don't know. How did you end up serving on an Alliance yeah. ship? 
Let me I out! Missed it. Oh, I wanted oh, to travel wait. the stars. I did something. The wounds of tough... But humanity needs the okay. Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on. Please! She's on loop! What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for Mr. a few Mr. Anderson. Now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew crack knows the whip, baby. pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Ben Caden. How well Caden. do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself. I feel like her outfit Maybe is the most spacey of everyone it's so not far. Easy being an L2. L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Sometimes he has uncontrollable arousal. Insanity, <laughs> everybody in every Bioware game has mystery. that. <laughs> Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Honestly, that sounds worse. Like I'd rather have like like a like annoying numbness than a headache twenty four seven, mm. right? Goodbye, Commander. You get XP from just talking to people? Uh, yeah. I kind of. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Uh, you got any headaches today? Hello. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Alright, you gotta find Joker. Uh, well, he's in that area we started in, probably. Yeah, he's in the but driver's how do I seat. get up there? That's a great question. I don't know how to open the map in this game. All right, so Joker We're is. Here. Oh, there's an elevator back yeah, here. Yeah, you probably gotta get in the elevator and go up a floor. Activate. I was getting all turned around walking around on the ships here. For some reason, like Skyhold in like Inquisition, I'm like, yeah, I know this whole map, but in the back of my hand, and then the ship, uh, the ship in um, Mass Effect, I'm like, where the hell am I? Yeah. <laughs> in the Normandy's vehicle bay, using a squad member's locker, allows you to assign equipment. Okay, so like I could go down here and gear up if I wanted to. Yeah. But I should I went to the wrong place. Ash. Okay. Uh I would like to assign you to drive this tank. Hey Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not a alliance issue, but we got it all. Necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Pay you? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself. What are you doing? Like, are, are you really gonna no, legal contraband ship and you just admitted it to one of your commanding on officers? An army <laughs> ship? Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need uh, There's this thing in Final Fantasy XII that a lot of people license. hate, but I actually Each really enjoy. Yeah? Brand of products. I already have several basic ones. But you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different No, no, we need to brush you. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Uh, new items. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic. He's like, I can't get caught. All this shit's illegal. Yeah, so basically. Let's see what you've got. It, you gotta you buy the licenses for things before he'll have them available here. Yeah. But. Okay, I have like no money, so. Yeah. We'll come back to this, but okay, good to know. What the heck is this? The element zero core. Engineer Adams. There you go, you got some some data. Okay, but how do I know when I leveled up? Uh, remember the last time also we had six points. Yeah, I don't know. Also, I should go look at the tank to get XP. True. Okay, Joker! Joker! Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Yeah, I think the first Dragon Age deserves a remake of this caliber. Yeah, I agree. Good music. Especially if it makes it like smoother and easier to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Citadel. Of Tears. Yeah. Is that what it's really called? No. Oh, okay, I was like, wait, did I... <laughs> the Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel. Actually, it's a wonder you can see anything. Your eyes are all dilated. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transfer. I mean... I like it's funny because in the video game I'm like okay yeah yeah I get it. it's a big space station yeah but like in real life you'd be like holy yeah you'd be like whoa shit. well can you imagine like we're so spoiled now like when this game came out it was probably like whoa it's space yeah yeah station. Screen, okay. <laughs> this is an outrage. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the council, Ambassador. Citadel security is investigating your charges. This is the kind of plot line where, like, findings at the hearing, it's kind before. of realistic, but, like, you would think the guy on the left, I can't remember what his species Captain is called. Durian. Durian. Oh, yeah, the Durian. Yeah, the Durian. Just the ground team from Eden Would be like, we gotta the figure this shit out fast. It's gonna make all of our people look reports. real bad. I assume they're accurate. Okay, they Silver are. Fox. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Um, yeah, he's dangerous. No, wait, I actually didn't see him do anything, so I'm gonna say it's the truth, because it's what I believe to be the truth right now. Seren's a threat to every okay. human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. I'll Seren, do it myself! Commander, you've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on what are you talking about? I wasn't even aware I was like a candidate until like 30 seconds before Nihilus this game started. Ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the C second. Who's the voice actor for to support uh, Anderson? It's it's a really like famous one. Like, like he, I, I yeah, can't remember his spectres. name, but come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet. Oh, Keith the David, yeah, top, yeah, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Oh, Ashley's giving us the eyes. That's why I hate politicians. She's always giving us the eyes. She can't help it. Her eyes are fucking huge. <laughs> 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 That's just what she looks like. Big place. It was point. It said easy decryption. Okay. All right, Frogger time. Time to play Frogger. Woo! Do some get like really difficult? Yeah, so I feel like I remember some of them getting really tricky, but they, I never felt impossible. Okay, you know. Alliance patrol report: Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during the patrol of Argos Row cluster. She had a particular concern about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in the recon team? I, I got some intel. You did. You got a little intel. All right, come on, guys. We're going to cause problems all Woo! across the world. We're going shopping. Um, so those are the lifts. Or, I, I yeah, guess this place is pretty big. So the Black Emporium, consort chambers, <laughs> sex room, consort. I don't remember actually. I mean, honestly, for this game, I, I would not put it past. Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to this part first, just because it's that nerd's office. Consort could just mean. Oh, you're already there. What? You're already there. Concert oh, I see, I see. Could just How do I take mean... the marker off? Let's just put it somewhere else. We're gonna go to the bar. Like... Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Okay. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. Okay. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Are you real? Virtual guide. What does that mean? 
I mean, it's rude to ask a being if they're real. Are you real? Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also. Well, I don't think we're too far off from this, right? Should you require assistance? Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal One. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the Valley. We're not even looking at you. <laughs> We're looking around. She's like pointing. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Oh, All yeah. right. What's CSAC? Know more about Citadel oh, Citadel Security. Citadel Security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC. But individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located okay. in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. What about the embassies? Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently okay. added embassy That's belongs cool. to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 humanity. galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Uh, why was humanity opposed? Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some you got a problem with my species? Why do you think? <laughs> treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Yeah, what do you think? Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. <laughs> My code this is, is limited to any person at a family dinner where their families are like, what do you think about the current state of politics? All right, what about the Volus? How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading and they, they petitioned the like. country. I was just thinking it's interesting that all the sentient aliens are bipedal so In recognition mm. of their work to expand... Although you just have like a weird like dog walking with a this like... Actually, economy. you're a philosopher, no, Nietzsche. They have to be bipedal because they're romance options. They, wanna, they gotta be fuckable. <laughs> um, just an embassy? Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair. Get a long pause. She just wants you to take that information in. Okay. These obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Excuse me? That's pretty damn arrogant. Lesser species? Question mark. The actual response. That's pretty damn arrogant. <laughs> anything else? Uh, specters. Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations. Kind of like the man on your planet known as 007. In this yep. Or Ethan from Mission Impossible. Jurisdictions. I can't Spectres remember his last name. No law or authority except the council itself. They're above the law. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, uh, like that, the council like there's no. Some people say Citadel in this, and some people say Citadel. The two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the All right, now you gotta tell me about the Krogan Rebellion. ...together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. So the Asari are the blue ladies. Okay. And I don't think you've really seen a Solarian you yet, You mean Karangillion? So... It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere. Like in, isn't she blue lady? To make in, that oh yeah, she is. She's Nebula in My Guardians code of the is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Okay. 
Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Yeah, see, I got points. I got points. To I got around. points. Okay, so this guy is a sentinel. Yeah, I would think getting decryption for him would probably be good, and then maybe first aid, and then I don't know if you want to get any of his actual sentinel points for. I mean, why not? At least one. And then what throw is an ability? It's an right? ability. It, it's essentially like a force push. Okay, I'll, I'll then, focus on this for you yeah. right now. Um, here comes Luna. Luna, come, hey. come over here. Come over here. Don't don't jump. Don't climb on the computer screen. All right, Ashley's got four points. She's a tank. She's the tank. Yeah. So limited health regeneration sounds good for her. Probably some armor. Some, and then we'll go real hard on the assault rifle for now, just so she's out there dealing damage. I gotta like, I know I've gotta pay attention to like how I'm using my team in this, mm -hmm. but it's so janky. I'm scared. Like I just want to kill everyone myself and let them do whatever they do. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I I don't remember the first Mass Effect actually being that hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like besides the aiming, but it's not like in Dragon Age 1 where you're like, oh my god, okay, you gotta do this spell because these guys are coming over here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, where are we going now? Um, well, we'll go to the headquarters so we can, uh, talk to that guy she told us about. Good day, Commander. The human so this is a Solarian. That's a, so, right. a, a sorry. A sorry. A sorry, yeah. Um, Commander? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Empire. She's really good face modeling and everything for them. Access mm. Avena. We met What's Avena, that? but I'll ask. Oh, Avena is the virtual gun no. of the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name are is you Sophia. single? I'm the administrative assistant for the Are you secret? Are you safe? <laughs> are you single? You are you horny? <laughs> the embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Okay. I I'm too busy now. to talk to you. Have a pleasant Thank day. Thank you. We want to go this way, I think. Yeah, there he is. Commander Shepard, I didn't Executor. expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No. I go where I want. But this is just getting more information, right? Yeah. Have we met before? No, but I... I always worry that it's gonna, like, gate me I'm into some, like, conversation on that side, you know? Mm. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Attitude towards humans. I get humans. the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You human. Yeah, fair enough. All the power you I would get. rather him be you straightforward be about it. The, the scary part is when, like, racism is hidden, because then you're like, I've known this person my whole life, and they shoot you in the back. Mm. You know, like. Um. The council treats us like. If, uh, you know, someone's like, it's not that I personally dislike you, I just have reservations. Like, it's like, okay. Yeah. I do definitely kind of agree with the sentiment that, like, there's only three races on the council, right? And mm. it's pretty, it's a little presumptuous so right of humans to be like, so we like should be added to the council when there's like well, hundreds like of other races that. Yeah. What do you have against But maybe the we are more numerous, I guess. I can't abide yeah, I mean, that's like one of the, like, the common issues when like elves and humans meet, is they always make like elves reproduce really slowly because they mm. live so long. Decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. That's what someone who broke the law yeah, would right. say. You mm -hmm. expect us to believe none of you? Yeah, actually. Hell yeah. There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. So far, design-wise, we they're my favorite. The Turians? The yeah. I really like the way the Turians Spectres. look. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. The dirty jobs. If you know what I they mean. Need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. 
but because he's a she spectre, keeps turning her head and rubbing her whiskers against my arm yes luna is that the kind of person this galaxy needs um saying saren's out of control is what he said well yeah but not all specters are like yeah Sarah. not all specters True. but the potential is always there Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services Luna. throughout the Citadel. Luna. We're a civilian government agency. Like, I'm many here. Of our She's just vibing. Yep. Training. Course, She's like, it's Mass Effect time, and I'm here for the story. So I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I'm sure that's not classified information that yeah. you can just hand out, right? About ongoing investigation. Okay. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. I literally, I feel like every Mass Effect game, I'm just like, how quickly can I get the non-human party members? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I just thought... Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> this isn't an inspection. He got a haircut right, from sorry. his mom. <laughs> what can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... Oh. That is, she helps people with things. Things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go Damn. in and talk to her. I understand. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. What? Why is she I so will. sassy? Have fun, then. <laughs> I won't have fun, that is. Is the consort literally just, like, sexual relief? <laughs> I honestly don't remember, but it could very well. Because it sounded like they were like, you gotta, you gotta cut loose, man. Yeah. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Why not? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some... Are you made it sound like you're gonna give me a drink? Can I get you a cocktail of well, secrets and subterfuge? Cleaning the bar. <laughs> Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. I just want you to know, in every Mass Effect game, Shaira's? there is a club. Yeah. Where the you can dance. <laughs> can afford services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling... Based off of the names, Cora's Den sounds more like my scene. Cora's mm. Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. All right. Goodbye. Thank you. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. I'm surprised to let you even pull out your weapon in the Citadel. Pew, 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 pew. I just, That's I, a Solarian. That guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, how do you put your gun away? I'm just scared I'm gonna actually shoot it, and then the cops are gonna come for me. Uh, let me like, do a quick Google. To the consort chambers. I would like to be consorted with. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Yeah, what? Can <laughs> I just go in? I need an I appointment. I, I, I have a sex appointment. To seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. <laughs> this She's reminds me of when one of my cousins started selling pure romance stuff. Mm. And I just didn't know what it was, so I asked my aunt, and she was like, most of the time, our <laughs> clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Is she myth mystical? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in you the come in, sense. You She's come in, you come, and a you woman leave with some oracle passion. future knowledge. I just imagine Kaiden and Ashley in the background are just like... Yourself. <laughs> what is the consort? Okay, that's the same Which one I just is... asked. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking. Until what do you do here, Nolina? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. 
What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song. I gotta say, your outfit station. is really good. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every touch. <laughs> Sounds good to me, baby. And relieve it. Not interested. <laughs> I'd like to try out your services. <laughs> the little smirk on his face. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. <laughs> what? Um. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I, I will be contacted. Oh well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Honestly, I'd be like Melina. I'd wait yes, for you. Sorry. Send the commander up to see me. I wish. Oh, to okay. Speak We're getting special treatment. Yes, of course, mistress. Chat. And the uh, touch chat. Huh. Yeah. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Why? What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Thank you very much. Can I bring my friends? Yeah. <laughs> Are they invited to this party? Oh god, I did it again. <laughs> He's like, I'm okay, ready. So no, wait. You have to go in. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Who are you? That this is the vol time. one of the volus. That's an armadillo it. man. Hello. The orb. The orb? Oh. That orb. <laughs> that is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Who are exactly you? What do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. What is it? Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus. Optimus Prime? I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Well, now that sounds like his problem. And right? men, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Uh, what, what went wrong? You? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I'll see. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Could you, like, Appeal bump me up in the appointment honor. line if yeah. I did this favor for you? Position as a general. If you can oh. convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be <laughs> very grateful. Very close. I was... It's like in uh, One Piece when the, uh, what the heck are they called? Many clients waiting to the minks go like, oh, what the heck did they Garchu say? Garchu, yeah. yeah. I was like snoo snoo, but that's the Futurama thing with the women, of the, the Amazonian women planet. Mm. So, yeah, you might have to take the rapid transit. Yeah. yeah. We'll head over there, and then that'll be a good place to wrap up this episode, because in the next episode we can aim to, uh, how the heck do I get out of here? We can aim to, uh, you know, work on that side quest. Yeah. The heck? Oh, this is the Emporium. That is an alien. It's not bipedal, and the tech ah, was there bipedal. But it's also not fuckable. This one is greatly pleased to <laughs> I see mean, you here in my decade. I mean, you just Emporium. sound like you're not very determined. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I guess well. This one's face name is Delaninder. Face so name? This place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. These, these guys are cool. Uh -huh. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits <laughs> can buy. Finest. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire. For a price, naturally. Okay. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? Tell me your pronouns. For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Okay, fair enough. Specifically... Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family, or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. That's this fair is enough. Way. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. 
Though many in this place simply Oh, already asked that one. Take time to examine okay. Fine goods it has Let's purchase. check out what you got. Of great worth. Show me your items. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to oh. do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Upgrades? You non-human armors. You don't even have any non-humans in your team. Yeah. Oh, these are like... So th well, is this like a permanent upgrade so, to my healing? Yeah, I think so. It's an, it's, sorry. it's an interface, so I think you can install them into your armor sets. Uh, so. I want better accuracy because I was looking when I was editing the clips. I was like, oh, I don't think I'm actually missing. Like, I'm aiming right, but my gun has low accuracy. Mm. So I'm going to get this for now. And then I'll have to figure out how to install it. Oh! <laughs> you leveled up! Perfect. Squat. Alright, I got six points. Um... I want to make sure my shield gets up. So are those like circles and triangles where I get like special I think so. Perks? You get you get either a boost to the ability or you get like a new aspect of the ability. Okay. Okay. Shield boost. Um... You haven't leveled up your class ability at all. But, I mean, Intimidate might be useful if you want more dialogue options. You know? Yeah, we're, let's max this out and we'll put the rest in here. Because I don't know how often you're going to use your adept abilities, even though they are pretty cool, I think, because um, it's hard to get that wheel open. Yeah, yeah. Did the other two oh! level up at I all? I did again. Um, I don't think so. Well, they did. Okay, so... we I want your decryption to be good so we can get everything. Honestly... And then we'll get some more Sentinel for you. For now. And you... You got four points. Um... Hit that. One in the Soldier. One in the Assault Rifle. So now, we'll just get to... The Rapid Transit thing, and that'll be a perfect place to end. Alright. And then next time, we'll go talk to that former general who's telling lies about the... Tell the lies! No, Papa. Or what does that mean? What? <laughs> You've never seen that? Okay. What? I have to show you this video then once we end this. Alright. <laughs>